I still have to distress this too, but I love this. A lot. In a new look. Very sweet. And I usually bring biscuit down here to do my sign off. Well, tonight I'm going to bring bacon, right? Hi, YouTube. It's Bethany from Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to apply textured wallpaper. That's right, wallpaper to the side of a piece of furniture. This stuff is amazing and it's paintable. You can paint it any color you want. I'm gonna show you a photo right here. I just applied textured wallpaper to the side of a desk for my daughter. Check this out. Isn't that gorgeous? It's amazing. I got so much activity online on my Instagram, on my Facebook business page, everybody going, is that a stencil? Oh my God, you did that perfectly. Ah, uh, no, it's textured wallpaper. And here's the stuff right here. This is the exact print that I put on my daughter's desk. And we're gonna go over to my workshop and I'm gonna show you in real time how I'm going to apply this to the side of a dresser. So let's go, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, first things first, the supplies you'll be needing to complete this task. Most importantly, I love this stuff. Roman, it's a contractor brand. It's wallpaper and border adhesive. This stuff is the bomb, get yourself some. You're going to need a clean rag. Obviously, you're gonna need your textured wallpaper. You're going to need a measuring tape, a pencil, scissors. I use a two inch foam brush and I also like a clear container that I can dump a little bit of this wallpaper adhesive in. That's what you're gonna need. Okay guys, we are on the other side of my workshop. Is my doohickey like level? There we go. Sorry about that to make sure my phone was level. Um, speaking of level, uh, when applying the textured wallpaper, I'm going to be doing it on both sides of this gorgeous ladies antique lingerie dresser. So I'm gonna be doing it on this side and I'm gonna be doing it on this side. Now I've seen a couple people on YouTube, they apply their textured wallpaper, they do it upright, vertically, this way. I don't do it that way. Now, there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's gonna be your preference. I prefer to have gravity work with me instead of against me. So I lay my pieces down like so. That way, when I apply the wallpaper adhesive, I feel like it's not dripping down the side, that it's staying level and staying consistent. So for me, I tip my pieces down I do the same thing when I apply furniture transfers. A lot of times I just, I don't know, it just makes more sense to me and it's comfortable for me. All right, so first things first, you're gonna need to measure out your textured wallpaper to size on what area you're going to be applying it to. So if you're going to be applying it to the side of the piece of furniture, I'm gonna have to measure the width and I'm gonna to have to measure the length. Then I'm gonna to have to go to my textured wallpaper here and measure out the same dimensions and then cut it to size. I'm going to show you in a time-lapse video of me measuring this out and getting this long piece cut. A couple things to keep in mind. Um, if you're going to be putting textured wallpaper on the side of a drawer, I've seen some people do that and there's nothing wrong with doing that. Make sure that you have enough uh, room to get your drawer in and out. If you're going to be applying textured wallpaper to the side of drawers, it does have some dimension to it. Um, it does, it's a little springy. I like to call it, it's like, it feels like foam. And most of the textured wallpaper that I have seen comes in like a white shiny color. 
It is paintable. That's like the most amazing thing about this textured wallpaper. You can paint in any color you want. Um, I just recently did my daughter's desk and I simply just painted it kind of like an antique cream color. For me, I'm gonna be using the same color on the side of this dresser. This is not my expensive chalk paint right here. What you're seeing right here in this middle area, this is just white primer. I decided to put white primer down because I figure I'm gonna be painting over this anyhow, but I do like all my crevices and corners already painted because I notice sometimes if you place it down and it's just over wood, sometimes you have a hard time getting into those really tight nooks and crannies with your paint. And I already, I just, I prefer to just have it all be cohesive and I find I just get better coverage and then I know just like every nook and cranny is covered where paint where it needs to be. So you're gonna see me in a time-lapse video. I'm going to measure these out and then I'm gonna show you how I actually get it to stick to the side of this dresser. Okay, moment of truth, y'all. Let's see if this fits. Ooh, ooh, wina, wina, chicken dinner. Yay, okay. She fits. Awesome. So, let it just so, yes, 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 okay. Awesome. All right, oh, I'm excited, okay. She fits, she fits, she fits, she fits, she fits, she fits. All right, that was a really long skinny piece, which I'm not used to cutting. I'm used to cutting more of square pieces, and that is definitely very long and skinny. All right, so <sighs> the fun part. We're going to start to stick this on the side of this piece of furniture. Okay, you guys, the fun but stressful part. I say stressful just because if you've ever hung wallpaper or like, do you remember when like border wallpaper was really in? Oh my gosh, I remember one of my first apartments that I got when I lived in Florida. Everybody had border wallpaper up in their bathroom or their kitchen. I know that's like so out of style and it's like totally dating me, but I remember putting that up and that was just, you would wet it. I think that's all you did. There was already like an adhesive glue on the back of it and you would wet it and trying to get the wrinkles out. Oh my gosh. Ugh. So what you're going to need to smooth this out once you get it on here, just get yourself like a clean rag. Okay. I don't use any tools or anything like that because if you use a tool on this textured wallpaper, you could rip it, even though it is pretty thick, it is pretty sturdy. So I put the wallpaper adhesive. This stuff makes all the difference. You absolutely have to get this stuff. I have it in a um, big container here. This is a gallon, but you can get it like in a quart. You can even get it into in a smaller size. I get mine at Lowe's, but they also sell it on Amazon. And everything I'm talking about here, I'll put a link below this video description with um, the links to Amazon if you'd like to buy it from there. So what I'm gonna first do is I'm going to pour some of this all along the surface where I'm gonna put the wallpaper, okay? I'm gonna use my two inch foam brush and you're gonna see me spread it around very thin. You don't want it thick, you just want enough to cover it, okay? Then I'm also gonna come over here and this is on the back side, the back side of the wallpaper. You're gonna flip it over. Make sure there's like no dust or dog hair or in my case, my hair. Um, make sure it's clean as much as you can. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side as well. I'm gonna put the wallpaper adhesive and then I'm gonna flip it on here. And then I'll, the reason why I'm putting the wallpaper adhesive on here and here, that way when they meet, they will slide and I'll be able to move it in place. So let's get started. I actually also put it in a container just a little bit. Okay, and then whatever I don't use, I just pour it right back in the container. Here we go. 
It's like icing a cake. All right. You do have some leeway with time here. I just make sure I just get it all on here. All goopy goop and spread it around. I'm using a two inch foam brush. I really make sure I get it in the crevices. Okay, you guys, you need to get it along the edges. If, if anywhere, you gotta get it on the edges because that's where we need it to stick the most because you don't want it lifting on the edges, which can happen if you don't have enough of that wallpaper adhesive. All right, so I'm going all around my edges first and then I'm filling it in. Again, I've never done such a long piece. I always do this for my YouTube tutorials. Hey, Bethany, let's make it as challenging as possible. Let's do a three foot long strip of the textured wallpaper. Okay, let's do it. All right, so I'm spreading it all out. Looking good, looking good. I think I put enough. All right, I'm gonna let that sit there for just a second while I come over to my piece of wallpaper down here and I'm taking it out of my container here, dipping it and making sure I'm getting it all over. I'm watching my video. I've had a habit lately when I'm recording my YouTube videos that they cut out on me right on the most important parts. So if you see me looking up, that's what I'm looking up. Okay, keep putting it all over. This is a long piece. Holy shnikes. All right. Making sure. Getting it all over. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to get it on the side of this dresser. And a little more there. All right, here we go. This is my top. Do, 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 do. Here we go, here we go. Ba, 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 ba. Get it in there. This is where I'm gonna wanna have my rag. All right, so I have it somewhat positioned. It's at least down. So now what I wanna do is I wanna come in and see it's moving nicely for me already. I'm able to bring it up to the tippy top of the side, um, I'm able to bring it along the edges and flatten it. And now I'm gonna use my rack to come in here and push the air bubbles out from the center out. So this laid really, really well for being such a long piece. Nice, all right. I'm still able to slide it, you guys. So if you need to move it, reposition it, that's why we put that paste on both sides, not only the piece of the furniture, but on the actual textured wallpaper itself. So I'm going along with my clean rag here and with my hand, and I'm just pushing those air bubbles out from the center out. And you're gonna be able to see the air bubbles too. You can kind of hear them pop a little bit. I will say this is much easier than applying like paper, tissue paper, scrap paper to the side of a piece of dresser, which I've done. I've done all of those things. Textured wallpaper, I think because it's thicker and what I like about it, it does have texture to it. So it's not like you're laying a flat piece of tissue paper where you can see every wrinkle, which can be very, very frustrating. I have a bubble right there that I can see a little bit. And so I'm going to continue to do this, you guys. I'm going to continue to push from the center on the way out like this. I hope you can see my movements. Center on the way out. And use a rag. There we go. I can see all that air going out to the sides. So this is going to take me a while and then I'll show you guys a close-up of what it looks like and we'll go from there. Okay, there she looks. Not too shabby. 
I really, really love how textured wallpaper just brings the absolute elegance to a piece of furniture. I mean, it just elevates a piece to just fancy schmancy. Look at that. So I have another challenge, which I have not encountered before, but I will figure it out. So my edge here, I'm gonna tip it up here just a second, is, do you see that? It has a little bit of a scallop edge to it. So I'm gonna wait till this dries and then I'm just gonna take an X-Acto knife and just cut around that curve. And hopefully that will go like I think it should go. Okay, you guys, I'm done positioning my textured wallpaper on this side of the dresser. So what I read from instructions online, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour for that wallpaper adhesive to dry. It's gonna dry clear. So if you get any on your edges here, I noticed I had a little bit here, um, no big deal, it's gonna dry clear. Um, I also read that the wallpaper adhesive is mildew and mold resistant. And so once this is done drying, within about an hour, I'm gonna come back and I'm going to paint it the color that matches the rest of my dresser. It's not that different from what the wallpaper color is. It's more of like a creamy white, so it's not gonna be that different, but that's when you can paint it, give it some time to dry, and then you'll be all set. Okay, you guys, I'm at the home stretch. I'm about to paint the textured wallpaper. I've let the adhesive dry for a little more than an hour, and you guys, look at this. The X-Acto knife method worked, look at that. So now I got the textured wallpaper to just go right around that curve right there perfectly. So if you end up having not a straight edge, it works as well. So check that out. All right, you guys, you just get in here and you can paint, paint away any color you want, just get right on it. I'm using a clay-based paint here. It's DIY paint. This is by Debbie's Design Diary. Love this paint. I'm new to this paint, I really enjoy it. It's clay-based, it dries really fast, it blends well, looks like this. I'm gonna list all my products under the video description, any links that I have to any of the products. I will also list those as well for you. And this is it, you guys, it is so simple. And look, look how gorgeous this looks. And I'm warning you, don't go on Amazon and look at textured wallpaper. Oh my gosh, the varieties are insane. And I got this at Lowe's. I think I'm gonna go to Amazon. There are so many designs. I'm gonna list a few of my favorite. I'm gonna go broke buying textured wallpaper. I love it this much. So I'm gonna continue with this and I will post final photos on my Instagram and my Facebook business page. And here's all my social media information where you can find me. Hey you guys, I brought Biscuit down to do the sign off. dangerous being near a freshly white painted piece of furniture. So if you guys have any questions regarding this tutorial and how to apply textured wallpaper, please drop it in the comment section. I'm happy to help you out. And until next time, you guys, toodaloo. Bye now. Say bye. Right there. Can we say bye? Bye. Bye guys.